Hello everyone and welcome back to the UBA channel. My name is Malik Masusi and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to fine tune your very own vision language model. In our last tutorial, we explored information extraction from documents using Lama Parse and the Quen language model. But today, we will be tackling the same challenge with a fresh approach using the Quen 2.5 vision language model, an absolute beast when it comes to understanding context and images. Since you're here, I'm assuming you already know your way around transformers and fine-tuning, so I'll skip the basics. Instead, I'll focus on explaining how the fine-tuning process works for vision models and how it compares to text-based models. But if you're new here, I recommend checking out our previous videos in the series before watching this. Alright, first things first, let's talk about what a vision model is. To put it simply, a vision model is a type of model designed to understand and process visual data. While traditional language models only process text tokens, vision language models operate in a multi-model space, meaning they integrate image features alongside text embeddings. Vision language models like Quen are built on a transformer architecture, which we are familiar with. They use a combination of a vision encoder and a language decoder. Here's how they work together. The image input is first passed through a vision encoder, typically a pre-trained vision transformer backbone called VIT, which converts pixel data into feature embeddings. At the same time, text inputs go through a tokenizer and text encoder, just like in standard transformer architectures. The magic happens in the cross-model attention layers, where these separate embeddings are aligned and fused, allowing the model to generate responses that incorporate both visual and textual context. Finally, the output is generated by the text-based decoder similar to how large language models generate text, but now with additional visual grounding. This architecture makes vision language models incredibly useful for extracting structured data from unstructured visual inputs. Let's also talk a bit about how fine-tuning these models works. If you've worked with large language models, you know the drill. Gather domain-specific text data, use techniques like LoRa, QLoRa, or full fine-tuning, and adjust parameters to specialize the model. For vision language models, it's similar but with key differences. First, data complexity. Instead of just text, we're dealing with text-image pairs. There's also pre-processing. Image resolution, aspect ratio, and text formatting all impact performance. And like large language models where tokenization is straightforward, vision language models require careful resizing and feature extraction. Computational costs are also different. Since we're pre-processing two input streams, text and vision, fine-tuning demands significantly more memory. Finally, adaptation techniques. In vision language model fine-tuning, we often adapt the cross-attention layers, but depending on the task, we may also fine-tune parts of the vision encoder or transformer layers. So, in short, similar principles but with extra steps for multi-model alignment. Alright, enough theory. Let's take a look at our notebooks and have some fun. We'll start by setting up our environment using our trusty libraries. Once that's done, we'll import the necessary modules and configure our devices. Check if a GPU is available since we need a GPU for this model. Training it on a CPU is close to impossible. We'll also disable warnings to keep our output clean. Next, we need to configure our model and set the hyperparameters. This is where we will define the number of epochs, batch size, and learning rate for the model. We're also enabling gradient checkpointing to save memory during training. This is super helpful if you're working with a smaller GPU. And don't forget to calculate the number of steps based on your data size and batch size. Okay, before fine-tuning, let's test the model's zero-shot performance. This gives us a baseline to compare against after fine-tuning. We'll start by pre-processing the image and formatting the data in a structure that the model can understand. After that, we can check the output the model gives us out of the box. As you can see, it's nowhere close to what we want similar to the issues we encountered in the previous tutorial. Let's load our dataset so we can start. I'll be using a dataset of invoices I found on Hugging Face. We're only using 1% of the data because of GPU limitations. If you've got a beefy GPU, feel free to go all in. To fine tune our model, we'll be using LoRa for parameter efficiency. All we have to do is define the configuration and initialize the trainer. Once all of that is ready, we can sit back and watch the magic happen. If you're not a code expert or want to save time, our platform UBI now enables you to fine-tune the Quen vision language model without hassle. All you have to do is log in, pick a dataset, pick the model you wish to use, and start training. 
You can even keep track of data drifts using our brand new monitoring feature. Anyway, let's go back to our main topic. Once the training is done, we can evaluate the model. We'll clear our notebook memory to free up resources, load the fine-tuned adapter weights, and generate a response. As you can see, the output has improved, but it's not perfect yet. That's because we only trained on a fraction of the data. More data and more epochs will definitely lead to better results. But hey, we're off to a great start. Now you have a solid understanding of how to fine-tune your very own vision model for document information extraction or any other task. And that's it for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider sharing it with others who might benefit. I'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions, so feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.